On today's show, honey, have I got a secret to tell you. And trust me, these guests today will be shocked. And now, a secret to most of the TV world, Richard Bay. They're so excited to be here today. All right, you know, uh, anybody here ever kept a secret from somebody that was really close to you? Something, no, you tell them everything, no. What? Yeah, what secret did you keep? Uh, too many. Too many, you wanna reveal one now on no. the air? Well then you're smarter than our guests today on the show because they are here today to reveal secrets that they've kept hidden from their loved ones husbands or wives, boyfriends or girlfriends. In some cases, the secrets are shocking. In some cases, the secrets are quite humorous. In some cases, the secrets might really affect the relationship to its very core. Our first guest is James. And James, you have been married to Nancy for how long? Fifteen and a half years, sir. Fifteen and a half years. You've had a good marriage? Yes, sir. And you love this woman. She loves you. I love her very much, sir. Okay. You have an addiction, though. Yes, sir. Something that you say you can't control. Yes, sir, that's correct. And it's an addiction that she doesn't know about. Yes, sir, uh, that's true. That's true. What, what is your addiction to? I'm addicted to dominatrixes. At. Do you know what a dominatrix is? Yeah, you've watched the show enough times, of course. All right. Um, for those of us out here that, or, or those people who are watching who may not be familiar with the term and what particular practice you've kept hidden, what is it exactly you do? You belong to a club called the Men of the True Shadow. What do you do when you go to this club? We discuss our uh, mutual interests, such as who we've seen that week, who we've talked to, how we feel about it. All right. What happens to you, though, when you actually go to the place where you work out this addiction? Well, there's different times. It's a dungeon or something you go to? Or? We call it a chamber, sir. Yes, and what do you do there? Well, the dominatrix takes charge. We are nothing. She is everything. And what do you do with her? We get, we can let go. Right, but what exactly physically does she do? Well, she can, and my particular favorite is being chained to a wall, my hands above my head. <laughs> now, once you're chained to the wall, what does she do while you're there? Well, she can torture me. <laughs> and... What forms of torture do you find uh, attractive? Fingernails. F long fingernails. I mean, she scratches you? Yes. Now, how long ago did you first go to a place where you uh, experienced this sort of practice? Approximately three years, sir. So it's been a short time in the span of your entire marriage. You've always had this fixation, though? Yes, sir. Okay, why didn't you ever ask your wife, Honey, we've been married for 14 years. Why don't you just... Chain me to the wall and scratch my back. I mean, it's not unusual that a wife will scratch her husband's back. It's... Does the wife see that? What? Yeah, scratches? does she see the scratches on your back? No, she doesn't. She doesn't see the scratches. You sleep, yes. you sleep on your back so she doesn't see it, huh? Yes, sir. Uh, oh, you do? Okay. Um, so, and she has no idea that you're going to this place? I don't tell her anything. Okay, why haven't you told her? I didn't think she would understand. Well, it's not that, you, you, sh you can start off by this. You know, honey, there's a lot of people who are interested in dungeons and dragons. I'm not interested in the dragons. <laughs> why, why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you want to share this with a person because it is a part of you, someone who you've shared so many years with, someone you love. Why share it with a stranger and not the one you love? Because I believe it'd be best if I went ahead and told everyone exactly why I am like I am. Why are you like you are? I had the fantasy since I was nine years old. 
I suppressed them for over 30 years. One day I can suppress them no longer. And you have no control over this? No, sir. Before, before I bring your wife in, let's get something sort of straight, though. You don't have sex with these women, though, actually. No, I do not. That is absolutely You're, forbidden. And it has really not much to do with this form of addiction exactly, right? No, sir. For you. Um, what, what is your wife like in terms of her values and her... She's very conservative. She's very conservative. So we can expect her to be quite shocked when you reveal to her why you have a chain and a lock around your neck, Yes, right? sir. Okay. How do you explain that to her at this point? Do you tell her that you uh, are locking up your bicycle or something? And what? No, sir. I call it the chain of sorrows. Yes. My mother died six months ago. So you tell her this chain is connected to that feeling yes, of mourning. And she yes, believes sir. that. Yes, sir. She does. But she's about to find out the truth. Yes, sir. All right, I'm going to go bring your wife, Nancy, in here. This is the woman you've been married to for 14 years and the woman who has no idea that you have an addiction that she might possibly find strange, unusual, and bizarre. Oh, thank you. Nice to see you, Nancy. Hi. Can I have you come in with me, please? Sure. Because we've been talking to your husband, James, and he's um, told us about your marriage. You've been married for 14 years, right? No, it's 15 years. Oh, 15 years. Really? Yeah, that, isn't that be... like husbands? They forget a year here and there, right? That's 15 right. years it is. Okay. And you are happily married, right? Oh, very happily married. And he told us that he loves you very much, too. Well, yeah, so take that into consideration. Well, could you just take a seat up right next to him on the, on the left-hand side? Um, we also asked him to explain the chain and the lock around his neck. Could you explain it to us? Do you have well, an idea? What? I'm not really sure, but he's, uh, he told me a few things, but I don't really know all the details. You don't really know all the details. That's right. You don't really know all the details of his life and the things that he's kept hidden inside for quite a long period in his life. That but is correct. But you're about to find some of those things out because he has chosen this moment to tell you the truth about what really goes on inside of him. And bear in mind, though, he's also told us that he loves you very much, and he values your marriage, and he wants to share this with you. Honey, I'm addicted to dominatrixes. I can't help it. It's an addiction. It's a weakness inside me. Please. I, I had no idea. I was ashamed to tell you. I was afraid you'd leave me. Uh, no, no, I could never leave you. Oh. I could never leave you for anything, you know? No. When I'm going to tell you something, when Jim and I got married, we took our vows for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. Sickness or in health, to death to his part, and to no other thing that can stop Did you have any suspicion or idea that he might have this particular fetish? A few things, but I wasn't sure. I hadn't put any pieces together because I really didn't know what to do, and I didn't want to jump to any conclusions. What, 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 what made you a little bit suspicious about this? I've seen the necklace, yeah. but I didn't know he... He not really told me much of anything, but he... He let me believe there was something, but I, I really didn't know what to do. Okay. I, you know, I didn't know... Do you have what, an idea of what goes on when he's... Involved in this fetish? Do you? No, I don't. No. I had no idea. Well, I, I, I should tell you as well that he also told us that there is no sex involved in this and that it's something that he feels he has no control over. Well, I understand. No, I understand that. And I, you know, and I'm very faithful to him and he's very faithful to me and I know there are no secrets. You know, I mean, there's, there might be problems, but. <laughs> 